Oh, now this is a game, buddy. Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Baltimore Ravens. Ooh, look absolutely. At that. This is a game of the week. No yeah, question. Beautiful game. Uh, you got probably for me, I think the Steelers are number one in my power rankings. Like I said, I haven't finalized that yet, but they're playing defensively strong. The last two games in particular, their defense has been on point. Uh, last two games, they beat the Browns, who I think at that point had only had one loss, and then they beat the undefeated Tennessee Titans. Now, the Baltimore Ravens coming off a bye, so they've had two weeks to prepare for this. Um, they're, what, 5-1, and one, I believe. Um, yes, yeah. So, you know, obviously two, two of the top teams in the NFL squaring off, and there are division implications. Now, full disclosure, Brad and I, we're not fans of either team or anything. I actually don't root for a team in the NFL anymore. Brad's a Packers fan, so we don't, like, you know, we don't have any bias in, in this whatsoever. But before the season, Brad, you called the Pittsburgh Steelers to be your AFC representative for the Super Bowl, which yep. some people would have said was an upset, but we didn't think so because, look, the Steelers were 8-6 and six without Roethlisberger last year. With him, I think they were pretty good, right? Now, the Ravens, um, and I had the Steelers getting to the AFC Championship game and losing to the Chiefs or something like that. But the Ravens, on the other hand, are always freaking good. Just always, always. good. Yeah. And so we actually, last year, if memory serves, we I think the Ravens were your your upset special to make the Super Bowl last season. So you had yeah, called them before yeah. last year. I don't remember exactly, but yeah. I mean, it seems like an appropriate pick. I mean, yeah. it wasn't exactly a stretch. Yeah, exactly. Right. And so, I mean, basically bottom line is like, we both respect the hell out of these two teams and this is going to be a battle. And this team, what I love about this is like over the, the history, ever since Baltimore moved to Baltimore, like this matchup has just always been close. I mean, you can pretty much lock in a field goal game for this matchup, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, right. They, they've battled in the past. Some of the best games, right? Some of the best games. I was looking at like the points per game and all that. I actually I actually did write this one down, but I have the screen up, so let me look over here. Uh, Baltimore is scoring twenty nine point eight points per game, which is good enough for eighth in the league. Pittsburgh is scoring twenty five point nine points per game, mm. which is good enough for where are you at, Pittsburgh? My bad. I just I, I just lost Pittsburgh. What is that? Twenty five point nine. What in the world? I, I swear the screen just changed. Sorry, Baltimore has twenty nine point eight. Pittsburgh has 30.5. I don't know what I was looking at. Okay. So Pittsburgh's at number six. Baltimore's at uh, number eight. But basically between the two of them, and they have a similar schedule, uh, remember, uh, there's only a .7 points per game difference there. Now they've given up. Baltimore gives up 17.3 points per game, good enough for first in terms of defense. Pittsburgh gives up 19.7, good enough for mm. sixth. So both of these, off the offense and defense on both of these uh, teams is in the top ten. Um, the, the point margin per game is inside the top 10. So you look at these, you look at points per play, you look at all these stuff. They're just a really good matchup for one another. Yeah, it's going to be quite wait. the battle, man. And I think, uh, whew, you know, I'm not going to give away who I like yet before the line, but right. I mean, Pittsburgh's doing everything well, right? They're disciplined. They're, they're having fun out there. Ben, I mean, he, they almost gave the game away, you know, but Tennessee, that's kind of their MO, man. They, they never quit and they're strong. Yeah. Um, it actually, if it's not for that field goal, they would have lost. But yeah, Tennessee, right? Tennessee's yeah, yeah. a formidable opponent. Yeah, and Tennessee, you know, had the deep shot um, at the end of the game. Um, you know, I know there were some Pittsburgh, you know, fans that felt like that game was out of reach, and they let you know Tennessee back in. But you know, my thing is like, look, this is the NFL, and I watch that. Of course, I watch that Pittsburgh Tennessee game. My thing is, it's the NFL. You know, if you win the first half and you lose the second half, you know, it was a pretty even game. Um, you know, Roethlisberger, definitely those three interceptions. And, you know, one of them I, at least was in the end zone. It was like a red zone interception. Those are bad. Did he have three that day? Three. I think two touchdowns, three, three picks, if I'm not okay. mistaken. Okay, well, that's surprising. I don't remember seeing that. <clears throat> and he, mm. it might have been two, but I thought it was three. And so, mm. you know, you can't do that against Baltimore, obviously. My thing is, like, Baltimore, we know what they want to do, right? They want to run. They want to establish the run. They want to play good defense. They want to keep take care of the football. And they just want to wear you out with that run game. But that's kind of to Pittsburgh's strength as a defense, is it not? Like, we saw Pittsburgh, and I know Baltimore and Cleveland are different, but I respect the Cleveland running game as well. Pittsburgh shut it down. And you know what yeah. Pittsburgh's going to do here, dude. They're going to try to put a spy, like one of their fast linebackers, um, well, on Lamar Jackson, which is easier said than done. And they're right, going to crowd the, the box. It's thing where you can try, but... yeah. So I think Baltimore, like, you know, Pittsburgh is a good enough defense and Baltimore is a good enough defense. You know what they're going to do, too. They're going to try to shut down Connor and make Roethlisberger throw a little dicey, um, some dicey balls up in there, see if he throws for, an, you know, you know, a couple interceptions. So both teams need to be clean, for sure, because both teams are too good 
Um, the their op- opponent is too good to you know give the ball away to them. But to me, it's 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 Lamar Jackson, man. I I keep coming back to this with the Ravens, and they're they're a damn good team. They're better than at least twenty seven other teams in the league. I have no doubt about that. But can you score and keep up with the Steelers? Like Lamar Jackson is a quarterback that plays better from ahead. Yeah, for sure. Right, right. It makes him uh, multidimensional. You know, the run's a threat when they're ahead. Um, and he hasn't really proven that he can start slinging it if they're down, right? Yeah, we I mean, seen it, have we? He, we haven't. We haven't seen it. And Marquise Brown, I thought he was going to blow up this year. Hasn't really done stuff. Now, this week, I think that, look, I know that the, the Ravens know more than we know, right? Uh, they know that this, what the Steelers are going to do. I tend to think that Marquise Brown is going to be, you know, taking some double moves, trying to push up the field. I would, I would, I think it would be wise of the Ravens maybe to put Dever, uh, Duvernay or Devernay, Duvernay um, on the other side, you know, get the speed out there and run some deep routes and stuff because you're going to have to push the ball downfield or at least show the willingness to take deep shots against the Steelers. Otherwise, if you get everybody crashing up the line of scrimmage, it's going to be a tough day. So at least yeah. take the deep shot. I always say this with everybody. At least take the deep shots. Yeah. If, if you're not confident, then throw it over the receiver's head. But you got to keep those safeties honest. Yeah, I agree. You, you got to you gotta go yard, you know, yeah. every few drives, don't you? Yeah, every time. And I don't even care. Like an incompletion is fine with me. Just take the shot. You yeah, got it. Right. I agree. I agree. Because you right, got to right. show the team like you have you have a pair, right? And you're going to do it. Yeah. And yeah. You will do it. You're willing to do it. I absolutely agree. Yeah. I. Here's the thing. And, and again, we I think we talked about this, you know, with some other matchups and maybe in the playoffs last year. If Pittsburgh is down 24 to 10 going into the fourth quarter, I'm thinking, eh, Pittsburgh, they put a touchdown in there. They put some heat on Baltimore. They could close the gap. Start of the fourth quarter, if Pittsburgh's up 24 to 10. That's it. Yeah, it's over. So I'm what worried. does that say about those two teams, right? What's that? What does that say about the comparison between the two? Obviously, Pittsburgh's better if we're both agreeing on that. Yeah, um, that's that's the way I see it. Let me hit you with the line. I think the line is – why don't you guess the line? Okay, where is it? It's in Baltimore. It's in Baltimore. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to say uh, Pittsburgh by three. Do you mean by? Do you mean plus or minus there? Oh, sorry. Uh, Pittsburgh minus three. It's Baltimore. Bovada has at plus. I'm sorry. Baltimore minus five. So Pittsburgh's getting five points. What? Yeah. That's As of Monday, crazy. it might have been bet down by now. It might have been bet down by now. Pittsburgh getting five That's points. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. That was the rare, when I saw that line, that was the rare thing where I kind of ran to my computer and, and, and went to Bavada and put the money, on, yeah, <laughs> put the money on it. That's really surprising. Look, this game is always a field goal game, and I really do think it's a coin flip. If I had to pick one way, i pick Pittsburgh because their passing game is more mature. And look, Baltimore's defense is legit, but Pittsburgh, look, Pittsburgh is on an elite level. Just like Kansas City is on an elite that's, level. That's a weird line. I'm still shocked. I'm shocked too by it. And, and, you know, Baltimore having the bye week and their defense. If you look at, you know, points per game and net point differential, like I, I understand it analytically, but that's one of those things that I, I look at it and I'm like, have you watched the last two weeks of the Steelers play? Like their, def- their defense is turning it on now. You know, like if their defense was still playing like they were in week four, week three, then, you know, I'd be fine with that line. But their defense is like ratcheted it up. So, yeah. You know, if Baltimore was getting five points, I'd take Baltimore. It's it's one of these just tough matchups of two teams, but I like the ability to pass the ball. Roethlisberger's got to keep a clean stat sheet, though. I mean, if, if he throws two or three interceptions, game over, Ravens take it. So it's going to be an interesting one, though. 